well, you know what? That sound there really good. We'll show you the aerosol in the next one. Okay, Let's see if the aerosol coming out. Um, I was gonna test see if the aerosol is coming out, which it is. I mean, it is. Just can't see it, so forget that. Next one. Okay. So then you can take your tube and you're going to attach your strange bag. Your face mask goes as such. That's going to go in here. Okay. Now you say hello, Mr. Liam. How are you? He says he's doing pretty, he's doing good. He won the bar fight, basically broke his nose. So he's doing good, but in you know, rough shape. So um, we're going to hook the mask up to him somehow, some way. He's going to sit right here. Well, look at me, look at Liam. Um, here, Liam, hold this. Can you hold my phone up? Kind of. Uh, his, oh, he's naked. Well, okay. One-handed is not easy. We'll just kind of go with it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting this on. His face, and I would not be doing this one handedly and smashing his broken nose. But since I'm holding my phone, okay, here we go. See how I did that? So that goes around his face, that goes on his chin, <clears throat> let's go behind his ears. Okay, so the idea is to create a tent that goes over his face but yet leaves the nasal area open. So you see in that? See, Liam? May Liam. I'll put that, you know, so there you go. That's the application of that. And you come over here and you turn it up. So um, we did it at 100. We're going to adjust it to where the doctor said 35. So there's 35, okay? Do you see a little air right there? It's going a little bit of air in. Yeah. Turn this on. Turn it on 10. Okay, so um, right there. Balls in there. Okay, so there it goes. It's bubbling. Okay, humidity. Alright, so now he's getting a mist. Maybe. Yep. Well, let's see if he's getting a mist. So he's getting the mist. So now he wants to know. <clears throat> she's um, it would like me to determine the total flow being generated by the device. So to do that, it's just in, I think I'm doing this right way, quick calculation, right? So we're doing, now, <clears throat> my FiO2 is set at 30, what did I say, 35? It's at 35, right? So if you had 100% oxygen, you're set at 35, it gives you a deficit, I do math, really, math, of 65. Okay, underneath that, <clears throat> you have the natural percentage, fractional inspired air is 21% in real life, right? So you would take, if you had real life air, which would be 21, so you would take 35, which is what yours is set at, minus 21, which is the actual oxygen of the air, so when you're adding air in, that's how much oxygen is coming in, gives you 14, then you divide 16 to 14, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 14 into 65, and you end up with about 4.6. That gives you the ratio. You're getting 4.6 parts of air for every one part of oxygen. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. That's how that works. So the ratio to air, air to oxygen ratio is 4.6 to 1. So approximately 5 parts of oxygen to 1 part O2. To figure out the total flow you're giving your patient, you take both parts. So if you have 5 to 1, right? Add them together, that's 6. You're getting, because there's 6 parts total, times your flow, which we set at 10 liters. So 5 times 10 is 50. So he's getting a total flow of 50 liters per minute, which falls into the magical range of 30 to 60 liters per minute, which is um, exceeding a ill patient's tidal volumes. So he's getting um, a fixed FiO2 set at 32%. And, yep, so now we're going to go back over here and ask him how he's doing. How you doing? Everything good. So we're going to check our tubes. We're going to check the tubes, right? Make sure no kinks. Um, if we had our temperature bag on, we'd be checking the connection bag um, because as it cools, it condenses back into liquid. Um, so if you collect in there, you don't want the liquid to get into their device, especially if they're on a trach or artificial airway bypass. Don't want anything going in there. So collection bag is important. Um, which, you know, face mask, not the biggest deal right now, but using a trach. So you're just checking everything. How are you doing, Liam? Liam's doing good. He's good. Yes, you are. Good. Okay. 
Um, I would probably at some point analyze your air to make sure you're getting the correct FiO2, but I can't find an oxygen analyzer. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Oxygen analyzer to save my life, so we weren't going to do that either. So that's my first check off. Um, I'm supposed to collect some sputum, but he is, he's good. And spit in a cup. I'm kidding. Anyway, that's my check off. So that's how you do the large volume nebulizer slash humidity. Okay, bye.